Good morning everybody. Something different for today's video. Uh, it's going to be a cycling trip. It's a foggy morning. I'm hoping as we go around on this trip we'll manage to get above the clouds on Corlick Hill which lies above Greenock overlooking the River Clyde. But you never know with these situations. It might clear, it might not. Last night I wasn't sure whether to even get up early trying to maybe see if it would be possible to get a temperature inversion day, maybe on the likes of Ben Lomond, but at the end of it, I, I just I didn't get myself organised in time, so this is a good alternative to make use of a extra day's annual leave that I have to take before the end of the year. I've done this before, but not for a while, and a, a, it's always a good run, it's about almost, uh, I think, 28 kilometres or so, it's a circular route as well, so it adds a bit of interest. So I'll bring you back later on. Sun's just peeking through the fog there. This is looking quite hopeful that it may well clear, I think, uh, as time goes on. Plus we're going to be gaining altitude up to about 300 metres, so fingers crossed. I've now reached the Corlick Wind Farm. This was opened just a couple of years ago. I was hoping it would be a bit brighter by now, but I suppose there's always a, still a chance. We've still got some more ascent to do, uh, but I think we're probably up around about um, 230 metres maybe at the moment. So there's a little bit more to go to get to the summit of Corlick Hill. And as we always say, it might just clear. I'll also now show you one of the turbines maybe heard some noises in the background as well as they adjust but I'll just uh, show you that and then get back in the bike and head off again. So it's quite an impressive sight, the turbine appears out of the mist. There's the sun, you may just spot it there. There's always a chance, as I say, we might get up here and it could just clear. All depends on how low that inversion goes. There's even a patch of blue sky appeared now. So certainly looking a wee bit more encouraging. Well, this is starting to look a bit more encouraging. It's definitely cleared a bit. Uh, my plan is to have a spot of lunch up at the summit. So perhaps just by waiting an extra 15, 20 minutes, it might get better again. This is us just reaching the, the top of the gravel track. I had to push the bike up this bit, it's too steep. And then we go off here onto the short path that takes you up to the summit. Still looking quite misty. So we've reached the summit clouds come in again, but you never know. As I said before, I'm going to stop for a bit of lunch and we'll just see what happens. It's not as good as I was hoping for, but it can all change. And it's still good to get out. Uh, like my friends would say, better than sitting in the house. So get some lunch and then we'll see what happens. Looking down to the south, it's just a hint of an outline of one of the slopes there. So. And then coming round. Just 
This is certainly the clearest it's been. Let's do a quick 360. If it gets better, I'll reshoot, but if it doesn't, at least we've got something. A lot of cloud and banks of fog. I wonder what altitude you have to go to to get clear of all this. Definitely cleared further, looking down there to the Greif Reservoirs, coming round. It's one of these things I really love about the outdoors, you just never know how it's going to go. On a day like this, you sometimes you just got to take the gamble and see what happens. Further clearance, get the view over the Greif Reservoirs. There's actually two, Greif number one and number two, but we're only seeing the one at the moment. And we'll be heading off in this direction. There's, you can maybe make the track out just above the green patch in the centre. We'll be on that after lunch. So just on a spot of lunch now. Brought some soup. You can never beat having a nice warm drink when you're at the summit on a cold, damp day. So I'll have this and a sandwich and then get back on the bike and then it's a descent. For this is the highest point of the day. Hopefully it'll maybe clear a bit more too. We'll just wait and see. Just finishing up lunch and be heading off shortly. The first part of the descent is too steep to cycle, so I'll just push the bike down and then pick it up once we get onto the track at the bottom of this section. So off we go. Just looking back to the slope where we came from and then over that stile and then coming around here you can just see the track over in the centre so we continue along that for a few kilometres and then we join the old Largs Road coming up from behind Greenock and take that round to Loch Tom and then turn off at that point back down by the Greif Reservoirs Looking back along the track there, you can just see the summit of Corlick and the turbines. So that's uh, the roughest bit of the cycle over. We're now just about to join a, a better track. In just about five minutes or so, we'll be onto a tarmac surface. The building you see there in the centre was it built during World War II. Uh, its purpose was to be a decoy to attract the German bombers during the Greenock Blitz and at any times if there was a threat of bombings they would set fires up here on the moorlands behind Greenock to attract the bombers away from the centre of the town. I think it's now a historic monument looking towards the southwest there, Dunrod Hill coming out of the cloud. So that's us just to back onto the tarmac now. I think this must be the highest house in Inverclyde we're about to pass.
and the sun's trying to come through there. Looking across to Loch Tom and Dunrod Hill. There's quite a few walks you can do around here. In a short while we will be heading east of the minor road here and this then takes us along a rough track which goes along the shores of the two reservoirs and then it's just a case of heading home after that. I don't think it's going to clear any more than this today but it's still been good. Enjoyed getting out and uh, getting a few kilometres done. patch of blue sky appearing there over the Greif Reservoirs. To be fair that's the most blue sky we've seen but anyway, it's, at least it's dry. I'm panning around the other way. Just looking over the, the upper reservoir. So I hope you've enjoyed this short video. It's a bit different to the normal mountain ones. You can check out all my previous videos on the YouTube channel. I've been around this before. Um, if you look back, I think probably two years ago during lockdown, I posted a couple of videos then. And I do regularly put videos up, hopefully get a couple of walks done over the winter. You can also follow Scottish Climber. I'll put the links on for Instagram and Twitter. And I would appreciate if you would subscribe to the channel. So, until the next time, 